world, hello America. Welcome back to Mo's Closet, here with another episode to find out the inspiration, who made it, and the vibe, darling, for the look for UK versus the world. My name is Mo Hart, and here's another look into what? My mind, my gig, my passion, darling. Here we go. Category is dots, 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 and Mo dots. For the inspiration for this look, I had this, was it Alexander McQueen, I think giant gown with like a giant grasshopper that was in polka dots, something weird and different. And I was like, well, I already have one giant ball gown. Plus my entrance look, let's give a break here. So I said, let's do a pantsuit, you know, boom, RuPaul will wear pants, I think, maybe not. If not, who cares, bitch, I do. So I said, Sully from Monsters, Inc. has dots and it's also not the traditional black and yellow, black and white. You know what I mean? So I said, that's something different. And then I said, if we can somehow build his silhouette or his frame through fabric to give me that boosh katana, wish katana, then I was like, yes. So we decided to use organza in like a lovely teal turquoise color with these blue sequin cutouts. Um, and then hand sewn and placed onto the garment. I was so impressed. What? Swarovski. <clears throat> with Swarovski. 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 I'm gonna do it again. With Swarovski. Did I say that right? Who cares? Google it. Swarovski. Okay, good. <laughs> with Swarovski crystals, darling. Okay, not the Precioso, because I use those, but no shade to them. But it was Swarovski. Bam, okay? <laughs> if I said the word wrong, I paid full price, so it's still real, okay? <laughs> Bam. So my designer for this look was the legendary, fabulous Thomas Ogden. You know his looks. He makes a lot of Brooklyn Heights looks for Canada's Drag Race. The critiques on the runway for this look was, I don't really remember because I thought I was going home, girl, okay? I thought I was getting chopped. Uh, again, another crunchy cartwheel. Not my fault, I slipped on the garment and my shoulder is still injured in pain. <laughs> Bad, injured, okay? Um, but I was safe and that's all that really mattered. My hair for this look was very much inspired by uh, myself. Um, I wanted to do, <laughs> I wanted to do, you know, the little horns because Sully had the horns, you know what I mean? I felt very kind of like weird because I was like, ooh, I don't want like people to think I'm doing devil worship, but I was like. <laughs> Screw them, I'm not. I said, let's just do the little horns for the character and then do hearts in the hair. And then we had a lovely flip. It was gorgeous, it was fabulous. The legendary Edward Scissorhand girl. He's the best. If you're not working with him, then what's wrong with you, girl? Call him. Bam. Would I change anything about this look? No! Because RuPaul, okay? When RuPaul gives you a compliment, he says, this looks so good. It looks stunning. You look great. He would have worn it his damn self, girl. That's what we do, okay? When you're just, when you got it, I got it. Thank God. Ha, ba, ba, ba. So besides my look, which was amazing, I would say Jimbo, like Jimbo, baby. Now he gave this story talking about, I had to search for da -da 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 fabric in all of North America. I said, you should have came right to California, went to CNC Alley, girl, you could have got it and with a discount price. But his look was puss -y, darling. It was puss -y. it was kind. It was very vagina, darling. It was, ah, uh, it was on fire, as RuPaul says. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in to Mo's Closet with Mo Hart. I will see you here every week, over here, right here on my channel, wherever you're watching this, okay? We'll see you next time.